Hello, biology students. Today we're going to be talking about experiments. And in biology, we're going to be looking at experiments, doing experiments, analyzing them. So you're going to need to know all the different parts known as variables in an experiment. In these notes, what you will see in your guided version is the major definitions filled in. There will be some bolded important words. I want you to pick out what are those key important bolded words in the definitions of each of these variables and also what are some examples because maybe those examples will help you understand these words. Let's begin. So the first part of an experiment or a variable that we need to know is the independent variable. We're going to call this the IV because it's easier to say. This is the part that a scientist changes. It's actually the only part the scientist changes. We don't want to change too many parts. I try to remember this with the saying, I change the IV. Maybe since that's a thing in yellow, it's important and it could be written down as a memory tool. Mm, very important. So the only thing the scientist changes is this. An example that we're going to be doing in class is putting in our seed germination experiment when we're trying to see how seeds will grow. We're going to be only changing as the scientists I change the amount or concentration of salt in the water. Is the salt nothing? 0%, 1%, or 10%? We are only changing the salt. I change the salt on the seeds. All right, that's what the IV is. I changed that thing as the scientist. All right, hopefully you got down some of the key ideas or terms and an example next to your picture. Okay, the next part of the experiment we have to remember is the dependent variable. The dependent variable is the part of the experiment the scientist measures or collects. It is the data. I love this one because it works out so great. Dependent variable, DV, data. Well, how can I remember that? They both start with D. So data is a key word. And even underlining the D in data might help me make that connection. DV, data. Well, in our seed germination experiment that we're going to be doing, what is the data I'm collecting? What is the thing I'm measuring as the scientist? What will I either be counting or taking a ruler or weighing? What am I doing? Ah, in my seed germination experiment, I am actually counting how many seeds actually grow, how many germinate, how many little roots come out out of my seeds. So I'm going to, with my finger, be counting those a class after I put the salt on some of them and I'm going to really be measuring them. Great. My next part of the experiment that I have to know is constants. Constants are everything in the experiment that I'm keeping the same. Same is my key word here. Mm, constant things in my life are things that never change. They're the same. Examples in my seed germination experiment are what? Hmm. So I'm only changing the salt. If I change anything else, my experiment will get messed up. So what has to stay the same? Things like temperature. That's going to keep it fair. If some of the seeds are in room temperature and some are in the heat and some are in the fridge, that's not fair. I need them to stay the same so I can compare them well. Sunlight has to be the same, otherwise it's not fair. Number of seeds have to be the same. The type, I need to all have them be the same type. Some can't be sunflowers and others roses. Very good. Hopefully you got down some examples and a key word. Last but not least, we have our hard one, but I know you can get it, the control group. This is the thing in my experiment that is most normal and I need it as a comparison. I need a baseline. That's another good keyword. Most normal comparison or baseline. So think about the different versions of amount of salt I'm putting on the seeds. I'm doing zero salt percentage, 1% salt, and 10% salt. Which is most normal for me to put on seeds? Zero, one, or 10? You got it, zero percent salt. It's only water. I normally only put on seeds water. So I don't wanna know, I won't be able to know the effect of salt unless I also compare with just plain water. So think to yourself when you're wondering what this one is, what's normal? Great job, guys. Hopefully you got down 
your examples and key terms. See you next time.